Hey everyone, it's Nightlight9, and in this video, we're going to spend a little bit of time going over the new Valentine's Day event, the Secret Sweetheart, along with the new event weapon that comes with it, which is Tifa's. I'm very thankful for that. But we're going to spend the majority of our time looking over the newest banner, and I'm going to explain why I will not be drawing on it. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. First off, we're going to just rip off the band-aid and say... Uh, yeah, okay, it's it's a Wind Arcanum, and oh, that's uh, really good. It is. It's really, really good, and I was really back and forth about whether or not to just pull for this outfit. The problem for me is this. Yuffie's a fine character, but she's not, like, my favorite. Tifa was always my favorite. I did kind of like Aerith, but I was really always a Tifa fan. I was always a Barrett fan. Um, and obviously Cloud, Sephiroth, and Vincent. Um, so, because she's not, like, my favorite, I don't have a reason to want to, like, insert her in my main teams unless she's just that good or does something that everybody else doesn't do. And most of the stuff that she's doing is stuff that Tifa's already kind of doing. Yeah, she has some unique abilities, like, you know, the three different breaches that she has that are very, very interesting and good. But because I'm already invested in so many other things, she's just not really the one. And in a moment, I will explain what the tiebreaker was, what the, you know, deciding factor was in my decision not to pull. But uh, I will also go ahead and say, like, this outfit is cute. Um, you know, but honestly, it doesn't, it doesn't really do it for me. Um, I, you know, it's, it, it's cute and that's about it. But as far as cuteness goes, it doesn't really hit me there. Uh, as far as like, I like, you know, seriously cool things and this, I don't know, like I, it's not, it just doesn't do it for me. So, uh, the diner tray is the weapon and you know, it's pretty good. Uh, it's, it's like on par for the average, you know, wind weapon, maybe a little bit higher in the percent of physical damage that it does. Um, but as far as max out the physical attack and wind potency, this is, a, this is pretty normal. I think this is about 50% higher than normal, which I mean, it's good, but it's not anything to be super soaked about, uh, for the materia slots, kind of a bummer, to be honest, I would expect there to be a sigil break here. Um, I mean... That's kind of what they normally do on these big weapons when they feature them. Uh, also, I don't like that there's a random attack boost here after it's physical, physical. It just, what, because they gave it 50% extra damage, they had to, like, nerf it a little bit. Uh, and like I said, with no sigil break, it's just okay. And she does have another wind weapon. It's all enemies, so, you know, not quite as useful. Um, but I, <laughs> Diner Tray is... It's okay. It's pretty good. Pretty good, I guess. And what I'd say is this. If, especially if you were a Steam player, if you don't have, you know, an Aerith built up or a Sephiroth or a Tifa or somebody else, I would say maybe specifically if you didn't pull for Aerith's win costume or Sephiroth's win costume, this might be a must pull for you. You know, um, if you really like Yuffie, obviously this is a must pull because it's an Arcanum. But I think for me... Here were my deciding factors and why I'm not going to pull on this banner. If I were doing it, it would only be for the costume, okay? And yes, I have struggled when it comes to wind damage. Um, anybody who watched my Mithril Mine video knows I was not able to S plus that. And I ran that dungeon like, I don't know, a dozen times. Uh, it ultimately just came down to not having quite enough wind damage. So, tempting on that note, right? Just to have an Arcanum because that, that would probably be enough to kind of solve my problems. Um, but, you know what? I was okay with an S. I got all the free crystals. Yeah, I didn't get all the crisis medals, but I don't really need the extra 500 crisis medals. Yeah, maybe I won't be able to place uh, top 100 in, you know, the next ranking event if it's a big wind thing. Okay, but... Top 300, that's almost a foregone conclusion most of the time. And even if not, I could take one off. Uh, so, is it necessary? Not really necessary. It would be nice to have. 
Um, so that's kind of like my first one. Secondly, like I said, I have Sephiroth's costume and I will be wishlisting Dark Heavens and Motor Drive from here on out uh, just in, to try to build up what I have as far as wind with Tifa and Sephiroth to kind of make up for this as much as possible. But the biggest reason that I'm not pulling is although I am not free to play and I will also talk about the next thing that I plan on spending for, um, I am a light spender, which means that, you know, I'm buying most months, I'm buying the uh, season pass, which I have not bought it every single month. I think there was one or two months that I skipped, but I buy it most months and kind of moving forward. It just depends if I think that I, you know, need the extra crystals or not is kind of how I'm going to make that decision. So I do that and I may buy one other thing here or there which I haven't in months, but I will get to that later. But here's the thing, because of that, I you know, am on a finite amount of crystals. And although they've been stockpiling and I'm up to over 51,000, I like to be able to go kind of all in if I need to on a banner. And it, everything in my mind tells me that when Rebirth comes out, there's gonna be some sort of big banner to commemorate the launch of Rebirth. And I'm thinking like the FF9 banner. Now, think about this. The FF9 banner, to me, was one of the best banners. If not, uh, the, the Tifa and Cloud banner part of it, I think was probably the best banner that we've ever had in this game. Just for overall value for each one of the costumes, each one of the weapons, um... That's from my personal opinion. And even the Sephiroth banner on that was really good. I didn't go for Kuja's Spirit Blade, but it's you cannot deny that that is an amazing weapon. With that, if that comes around again, I want to go all out. And I can tell you, I think that banner ended like December 6th. Okay, so Rebirth comes out on February 29th. And by that point, it will have been almost three months since the Final Fantasy IX banner came out. Kind of seems like a perfect timing to drop another really big type of banner. Uh, not to mention, you know, they're going to be extremely hyped about Rebirth. And I'm going to want to at least have the option to go all out. It's a risk because, you know, maybe I don't like that banner or maybe it's not, you know, with the, the characters that I'm, you know, big on, but... Let's be honest, it probably will be. And that was my number one deciding factor. For those reasons, I'm going to be saving for Rebirth. It's only four weeks away. And I'm sure that there's going to be a banner that drops in the next like two to three weeks, which even makes more sense why they would have started this event and everything earlier. I was, you know, giving them trouble in my last video for starting the Valentine's Day event two weeks before Valentine's Day. Well, it's because they wanted to drop this so that when they drop the rebirth banner, you know what I mean? It, it, they're not too far overlapped. And you get everybody to pull for this because of the wind arcanum. It's a big deal. And then they have to spend to get more crystals when that big banner comes out. That is my idea. So for those reasons, I'm not pulling. However, I think that there's perfectly good reasons. If you love Yuffie and if you need the wind stuff, if you don't have any other wind outfit, that's pretty good. So, you know, you just got to make that decision. Uh, but for me, it's going to be a skip and I'll just focus more on the wind weapons that I do have and hope that that can get me by in the future, which so far it's been able to. So earlier I had mentioned about, you know, being a light spender and that, you know, I usually get just the season pass. But if there is something that comes up that I think is just a really good value that I'm going to get it. And this is one of those things, uh, a 10 draw for only 300 crystals. I mean, that, that is an insane. That's a 90% discount, right? Because normally it's 3000. So I am going to draw for this because there's, you know, one or more guaranteed. Uh, I just, you know, there's no special odds or anything like that, but I really do think it's a good deal. And if we look at the shop, um, you know, we can see that it costs $3 for 480 crystals. So 
I'm gonna do it. And I don't think that that's a, you know, a huge deal, but it is something that I wanna do. And I like to be kind of transparent with you all about what I spend on and everything like that. Um, I guess if I was thinking about spending on anything else, uh, it would probably be this pack here, uh, the 500 crystal one uh, for a free five-star ticket and some of the stuff, but I'm not gonna be doing that, but it is pretty good. So just thought I'd go ahead and mention that in there. All right, so the next thing I wanna cover is the event and it is called the Secret Sweetheart. It is just like the Christmas event was where you go in here, there's story and battles and you kind of clear those out and then it lets you get these score battles where you go in, he's weak to win, you try to basically do as much damage as possible, at least for these first few. You don't even need a healer, you just try to max it out so you can get as many of the exchangeable items as possible. So Tifa's weapon, Oven Mitts, uh, has this ability called Solid Bravery, Physical attack increased on a single ally, uh, starts at low, max potency mid, duration looks pretty good. Uh, even at just a regular five star, 34 seconds is pretty good. Also regen is applied and a heal is cast. That seems fairly good, to be honest. Uh, our abilities boost HP, definitely good. Physical defense, why not? Um, I think for a free weapon, you can't really expect anything more than this. Uh, materia slots, yeah, they're, they're, they're kind of ass, but it's okay. So, assuming that everybody's going to get this to OB10, let's see what we're looking at there. So, still low potency, max to mid. That makes sense. Uh, duration, 44 seconds. That's pretty good. Uh, 15 second regen and a 13% heal. Like, honestly, I think that that is pretty good for this weapon and it reminds me kind of of like you know Lefko Kipseli and Torn Wing where the C ability is actually something you might want to use if you're using Tifa in the you know traditional role that she's used in where she's debuffing you know trying to either help you survive or help you do more damage uh this could be pretty good because she's not going to be your main damage dealer so being able to buff the physical attack of whoever, you know, Cloud, for example, that's pretty good. I I don't dislike this at all. And I'm pretty excited because, you know, a lot of these event weapons, there's like very little chance that they ever get equipped in one of the two main slots, right? They're always a sub weapon that, you know, you're just caring about the R abilities. But this actually does have a chance to see some play. And I really like that. So very excited about that. Uh, the rest of this shop, I mean, it looks pretty standard, pretty good. Um, Tifa specific weapon parts. Thank you. Very, very excited to get those. We don't get those very often. And uh, her and Cloud, they really are pretty stingy on those. And I'm really happy to have them. Let me know what your thoughts are on the event, but mostly on this banner. Uh, do you think that there's going to be, you know, a uh, big rebirth banner that you're gonna save for? Or is this just, or is this just too good? Or is this just too good to pass up for you? Subscribe for future content if you're not already. I appreciate each and every one of your support. And as always, thanks for watching.